Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 211. That is, what is primary key in SQL? Let me answer. So before that, you see, I am talking about software testing interview questions, but uh, here the question belongs to SQL. The reason why SQL questions are being answered in this series is as part of software testing interviews you'll also get questions from sql guys okay don't think that you'll only get questions from software testing you should also be good at sql because without having the knowledge of sql and if you come across this kind of questions in software testing interviews you will not be able to answer okay so if you want to be good at uh, sql uh, i have created another course on sql okay detailed uh, from scratch uh, for beginners course Okay, a separate course is there. You can go through that course and come back here so that you will understand the answers for this interview questions easily. Okay, but let me now answer this question for you. That is what is primary key in SQL. Okay. So in SQL, what is primary key? Okay, before understanding what is primary key in SQL, in SQL we have different integrity constraints. Okay, so what are these integrity constraints? They are nothing but the conditions that we can apply on the table column data. Okay, so you see uh, uh, data will be stored into the database in the form of uh, we generally create tables in the database and store the data into the tables, right? And these tables will contain columns. These tables will contain columns. Okay, if you want to set some conditions for the data that is being stored into these columns, then we have to go with a different type of integrity constraints. There are different type of integrity constraints like uh, we have something like not null that is one integrity constant then we have unique then we have primary key foreign key check default okay these are the different integrity constants the different conditions that we can set on uh, table column data okay the type of data that you want to store into the table columns right if you want to set some conditions these are the different varieties of conditions you can set okay these are the different integrity constant but in this question, I need to answer about the primary key, which is one of the integrity constant in SQL. Okay, so primary key is nothing but a combination of not null and unique guys. Okay, there are separate uh, integrity constants like not null and unique, but primary key means both not null and unique. Okay, you see primary key is equal to unique plus not null. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this for you. So here guys, uh, I'm going to create a table here while creating a table, create table, table name. I'm not going to explain in detail okay so but uh, just follow this instructions whatever i'm saying i'm creating a table known as emp1 okay i'm creating a table known as emp1 uh, with two columns id column and name column coming to the id column uh, i'm going to store the numbers and uh, it's going to be the integrity constant is mentioned that is primary key i'm mentioning this id as inti with integrity constant primary key that means prim primary key means unique plus not null okay so it should only allow you to insert the data into this ID column having only unique values, okay? And also null values are not allowed, not null, okay? Primary key means unique plus not null. Null values are not allowed, okay? Other other column we have the normal one that is name, okay? So here for uh, let's first create the table, guys, okay? Let's see whether the table is already there. That uh, table is not there here. Let's create the table first. Let me create the table. Let me run this query. You see the table got created refresh here you see emp1 table got created with this uh, columns that is id and name where id is the primary key here now let's insert some data into this uh, okay table okay so before inserting any data into the table i'll simply say select star from okay emp1 select star from emp1 i will say you see there are no records under this uh, table okay table is empty now let me insert some data into the table insert into emp1 table with values one arun okay let's insert this uh this got uh, reflected here let's again say select star from emp1 you see we got one and arun here okay now what i will do is i'll 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 give same one again and i'll change it to varun here okay let's say whether uh, it will insert or not it will not insert guys because already the id one is there already reserved for arun here right uh, here primary key means unique if you try to insert another record into the same table with the same id one it will not allow okay because id has to be unique 
it has to be either two or something it cannot be one okay run this you see you are going to definitely get an error code duplicate entry one for okay because there is a primary key you cannot insert like this but if i give two here it will in it will accept okay run this you see two got accepted here green color came now select star from emp one we have two records that's great now let's try to insert some null values okay primary key will not allow even to insert the null values but uh, if you try to do so what will happen let's see insert into emp1 okay uh, emp1 in the square bracket i'll say name column only into the name column i want to insert values as i'll say tarun or something okay i don't want to insert the id i don't want to insert the id only the name i want to insert so id cannot be null guys okay primary key is there for id but if you still try to insert like this you are definitely going to get an error saying that field id does not have a default value okay it cannot be null okay that's the problem so the record will not be inserted only two records are there the record will not be inserted so primary key is an integrity constant which is nothing but equal to unique and not null okay so hope guys you understood what is a primary key in this session so this is what is the answer for this interview question so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye